What's up? It's been a while. We've certainly missed you, like, this much. <laughs> so today, we have some big news for you guys. Those who are still watching our channel, um, we're going to tell you why we're uh, going to sell everything and leave America, leave California, and we're going to move over overseas and uh, be missionaries. Crazy. So if you've been following us for a little while, you knew that we um, spoke like about a month or two back about that. Like we felt God was leading us to make more videos, just sharing the gospel, just things we've learned walking like with God and our faith just to help others. And also we spoke about how there's this church in Orange County called the Oceans and we felt like God was telling us to like sort of go there. Yeah. Yeah. We felt like God was like just put it on our hearts to like go and be a part of that community and help like build that church up. Yeah. Um, especially because we're, we're looking for like a community of like younger families with kids who could like help, I don't know, just help us on our journey and just totally. help us and all of that. Yeah. Um, but you know, we've been praying and praying and praying. Like we feel like God has us, had us in a season of like preparing and we figured it's like for oceans mm -hmm. to move and so we just both felt like okay God's preparing us for something big and we don't know what and then we went to this family camp this last week with our family with our church in our church it was a week long trip <laughs> and it was fun it was fun it was fun and we just like felt like I don't know one day we were just talking yeah about nothing like we we're talking about the campus that we we're staying on yeah and then we, I was talking about like young life and then Tommy thought about YWAM yep so YWAM youth with a myth uh, the, 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 youth with a mission <laughs> they actually came to my family's mission on Skid Row you if you guys have watched us you've seen some of our videos um, that we actually met in the mission field sort of like you know at my family's mission where they help the homeless um, and tell them about Jesus and all that fun stuff and uh, I'm trying to make this I, I'm trying to make this quick for you guys the recap so youth with a mission actually had been to the mission. And we've met them. And, and Youth with a Mission is like a missionary organization. They started it 40, 50 years ago, a long time ago, um, to help mobilize youth to reach the nations, like the Great Commission. Jesus says, go therefore to all the nations, preach the gospel, share the good news, the message. So they wanted to get more youth out into the mission field. And they've been successful. They have like over 600 locations around the entire world. It's amazing. So I was like, wow, well, YWAM came to the mission. I was like, we should like check them out so then all of a sudden we gone on their website and we started like reading about youth with a mission like hearing like the heart that they have you know just to reach the lost and to show jesus and you know practical ways like telling but also like by service like cleaning streets and uh you know building houses and just very like practical things as well we were reading this and like i don't know it was like the holy spirit we just felt like okay this totally makes sense well, Tommy felt like that, and I was like, uh, no way. <laughs> he was like, we should do this. We should go, like, you know, um, go overseas for six months. And I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but tell them what you felt the day, a few days before. Well, a few, no, it was like a week or two before. I was just reading, like, a friend's of the family's like blog about like how her family like went overseas and they like started this orphanage in Ecuador and stuff and I was like oh my gosh I was like I bet you like God's probably gonna call us to like you know be like not be missionaries but like go to the mission field yeah and then lo and behold two weeks later the rest of the day you know the kids woke up from the nap we didn't get a lot of time to talk about it um and we were just like okay well like for some reason we both had this like at peace feeling I guess like we both felt like maybe this is like the next step that we've been praying for um and like at first I was like no way but the more it sat with me I was like okay this totally makes sense right so basically you know we were just we thinking about it and you know it's like we did feel like I've heard and she's heard like you know like the Holy Spirit tell us that like God's been preparing us, you know, or that he was in the process. Like we we're in the season of, you know, being prepared for something and we didn't know what. And we were like, I've never prayed so much in my life, like to move to Ocean's Church. Like, you know, I love like, but I didn't want to do it like on my own will. You know what I mean? Like try to make it my, happen myself. Like I was like, you know, if we're going to go there. Like God needs to open the door. Like I don't want it to be like forced, you know, I want it to be like his timing, his plans best. So 
when we heard this, like when we thought of this YWAM thing, we're like, this totally makes sense because it's basically, it's a six months, it's a six month thing. So three months is like practical training. And I went to school for theology and she grew up in Christian school all her life. So I'm not saying we're like some Bible scholars, but we know a bit of Bible. So um, we, we wanted it, but this is like three months of like practical training, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's like evangelism. Evangelism, like outreaches, like yeah. cross-cultural church, like very like mission field also like learning how to disciple others so like how do we take all this knowledge that like we've been blessed to like grow up in a christian family and be around this how do we take all this knowledge and actually apply it to our real life that's the exciting thing so three months in one location like norway or france or germany or wherever and then there's three months in another location so that would be the outreach phase so for those other three months it's literally just like you're in villages you're doing outreaches it's just like a full-time missionary work so we're like this is perfect because like we like i like i've been doing real estate for the last like couple years and when we moved out here i tried to apply a few churches and stuff with my like degree but i still was getting the degree i didn't even have it yet and i just felt like uh, i just didn't feel like god calling me to be like a pastor you know but i was like i would love to start a ministry or do something because like honestly going to ocean sort of like ignited it within both of us that like fire that like well like this life isn't all there is and like people every day are like dying and and going to hell like they don't know god and like i want to like be a part of god's kingdom here and like you know telling more people about him and like changing eternity forever so um yeah for me you know obviously i'm stay-at-home mom and i love like being home with the two of them but it's really hard to do anything yeah (laughs) like i have this two hour break which is when we're filming right now yeah like every other day when thomas decides to nap and like you know i could barely get like the blog going like it's so hard just to even have time for that yeah so like this was like really appealing because you know we'll be it's like we're in like in school for yeah. like a few hours every day yeah just like our family camp where like somebody like a christian staff at the place or whatever preschool like we'll watch the kids and have them while we're like learning about jesus and this and then on the outreach phase we could take them with us um but like that was really appealing to me and then second you know like my whole before i even met tommy i wanted to go to pa school which is physician's assistant um just because I wanted to do like mission work, I want to do medical missions, and that was like what I thought I wanted to do. Um, but now I'm like, heck no, I couldn't be in the medical field. Um, but we got the missions part, which is like the part that I really wanted to do, so it yeah. sort of makes sense for me. And I thought of that like way later, even after we like decided to do this, I was like, oh my gosh, it makes so much sense. Um, but it was funny as we were like you know thinking about this and praying about this we had like a day or two left at family camp mm-hmm. i think and so we were praying about it and like reading and stuff and it was funny because we just kept, kept getting like confirmation after confirmation so like we would <clears throat> like be talking about it and then we'd read like this verse and then mm-hmm. we'd hear it in like the message and then we'd see it here yeah and there was another time where tommy was talking about um a sermon so we were after we decided to do it we were looking Mm -hmm. at locations because there's not a lot like he said that are family friendly and so we were just praying like okay god like open the right door like show us which one you want and tommy thought like that maybe it was like this certain location and then we found another one that looked really good Mm -hmm. and he comes in and he was talking about this sermon like saying like oh something about jesus washing the disciples feet said something like that and then i was looking at this like one of the locations on the site and that's like it literally had a quote about like jesus washing the it's crazy seat. it was the same day like an hour yeah. later and i was like oh my gosh i was like this is probably it like, yeah yeah it was, i'm not saying the location because we haven't been accepted yet yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's basically like in the last supper you know jesus like Um, And the pastor said this, and I don't know, like he said, he thinks it's like one of the only places in the New Testament where you actually see Jesus's thoughts. And Jesus was like, wow, like, like it was in there. It was like all like the power, like God has given me everything in the world, like in heaven and earth, like all power belongs to Jesus. Like Jesus is about to die and be resurrected and sit at the right hand of God. 
Um, but it's crazy, like, in that moment where he's, like, realizing all his authority, all his power, you know, because he's man, but also God, he, like, gets down and washes the disciples' feet and has a really, like, humble moment. And it's like, you know, like, God, Jesus calls us to, like, serve others, you know what I mean? Like, like that's, the, like, when you, when you lower yourself and you humble yourself, like, that's how you, like, you, that's where you meet Jesus. And, and it was cool, this certain place we're looking at, that's, like, their whole mentality you know and we're like man like yeah like it might sound crazy to people because like i'm 31 she's 26 so we have a three-year-old a one-year-old like our our place we're living now here um that we're renting we're just gonna like give up we're gonna have to see what we're gonna do with like all of our stuff and that sort of thing um we'll be gone for six months and who knows what will happen when we come back where we'll come back to like but we're just like we want to be all in and it's crazy because like in the last few months we didn't get to oceans but in that time i've never prayed more in my life i've never read my bible more i've never listened to more sermons and honestly i've never heard god more in my life like now i could actually say like i'll pray and i'll like hear him like in my thoughts or like in the things i read and you know let me sound that's like you might think that's crazy but like when you literally pray for something and then you see it in scripture and then you turn on a random sermon and then hear that passage and then you hear it in your head and then you, i hear her tell me something Something that lines up with those three other things and then and then you, it's like okay like so it's like the more you pray the more you realize like how much God wants you to like work with him and be like a co-laborer in his kingdom you know like God wants us to be involved and you don't have to go overseas you could do it right here but like we feel like God's calling us to go overseas to be in this program and then just to see like where the next steps he has for our lives you know like we want my heart is like to be in ministry and just serving and we're like how like they they always say like the best thing to do like is like to have a heart for something like to find a need and like meet it you know but we don't really have that yet like we have ideas she might <laughs> i'm speaking for her i get in trouble when i do that so i have like i i don't really i have it sort of like she i i won't speak for her i was about to do it again but like I like I feel like maybe something like evangelism, like teaching, like I don't know. But honestly, we're open. Like I actually like a place in Florida applied to, and then they didn't have like right the right facilities to families. So we're not thinking like oh we need to be in like France or Norway or Africa or or China. Like we're literally at a place in our lives where like God we've seen it time and time again like god's will is like the best place to be in and it's the best place for our lives and we're going to be the most fulfilled and happy and just like everything's just going to be the way god wants so we're willing to go wherever i mean so if he called us to turkey we'd go you know what i mean because like god has amazing plans also for your life too yeah that's the funny thing about you know when god tells you to do something you don't have to do it but he knows that, like, it's going to be the best thing for your life. Totally. And that's the hard part. You know, like, do I want to, like, take my two babies to, like, another country and, like, deal with all of this? Like, no. But, like, do I know that it's going to be, like, way better for us on the other side? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, we just, we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. And it's crazy because, like, we've been just, like, God will tell you things and, like, and when you do it, then he'll tell you something else. And then when you do it, he'll like keep revealing himself to you. And it's like our our like walk with God has been like super exciting, like the last few months of just like like hearing what he has for us and starting to do these things. And it's just like it's been changing us. Like I think our marriage has been getting better, you know, for the most part. And like, you know, our children, our parenting, like everything. And like, you know, so many people out there, there's so many broken families, kids without dads, without mothers, kids living on the streets. Like just there's so many broken situations. And like we want to like you know bring the gospel into these places and like give people life and hope because like that's what jesus is he takes something broken like us and, and makes us whole you know and you have a hope that's external to this world so no matter what's going on in the news or whatever he's everlasting that's pretty much a wrap. What we plan to do is probably do a video once a week. We want to take you on our missionary journey of being here and then going overseas, selling our stuff, putting it in storage, whatever, and show you like what it's actually like to do this. And 
So for those of you who've been missing the kids, they're coming back. That's right. Yes. Yes, they're coming back. So, you know, if you're excited for this crazy missionary journey, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out her blog. She has good posts. And yeah. Check them out. See you later.